Now for problems 19 and 20, we are asked to check if a given function, it is odd, even, or neither. A reminder here that another function satisfies the equation f of x is equal with minus f of minus x, and an even function satisfies f of x is equal with f of minus x. Remember, the minus in front of a function or in front of a formula in general, it flips every sign. So if I calculate f of minus x, hence check the even function first, I would have done most of the calculations for the odd. So I recommend starting here. So for 18, we have the function f of x is equal with x to the fifth plus x. Now we will calculate f of minus x. Now I'll have minus x instead of x for every one of those. If I have an odd power and a minus, the minus is preserved. So this will be minus x to the fifth minus x. If I had an even power, the minus would be lost. Same as when we were calculating minus 2 squared earlier, we just ignored the minus 2 and we did 2 squared. Now, this is not equal with f of x. If we compare the formulas, we see that they're not the same, hence not even. But now if we go to, call to check the odd formula minus f of minus x, that will be minus exactly what we calculated above. The minus in front of the parentheses when distributed flips all the signs. So this become x to the fifth or plus x to the fifth plus x. And this is indeed equal with f of x. So the function is odd. Let's do that again for the function of exercise 20. Now the thing is, because on the function of exercise 20, I don't have the square on each term it'll be harder to calculate directly with this formula. So I'm going to change the formula and expand out the square with the identity that I mentioned earlier. I will point it out here again. A plus B or minus B squared is equal with A squared plus or minus 2AB plus B squared. So expanding this one out will give us X squared minus two times three times x, so minus six x, plus the square of three is nine. Now I proceed with this formula to calculate the f of minus x. This will give me minus x squared, minus six times minus x, plus nine, which is equal with, I have an even power, so the minus doesn't matter, that gives me x squared. A double minus here gives me a plus six, plus nine. Now this is not equal with the original formula. We see that in the original formula, we have a minus six here. Well, a plus six on the formula for minus, for f of minus x. Hence, this is not an even function, not even. Let's check now f of minus, a uh, minus f of minus x. This will be minus exactly what I had as a result above. So minus parenthesis x square plus 6x plus 9. This gives me minus x squared. When the minus is in front of the x squared, we still maintain it. It is only if, if it is under the square within a parenthesis where we lose the minus. Minus 6x minus nine. And that is, again, not equal with the original function. We notice that the nine and the x has a minus in front of it, while the original function, it does not. Hence, not odd. And the answer is neither odd or even. No that completes 18 and 20.